Welcome to Empty Cash's new show, Steamed, where I will be here every week to work with you on a Steam project. All of our projects can be done with materials most should have available at home. And it allows you to think critically, problem solve, learn new concepts, and just have fun. So what is a Steam project exactly? A Steam project is one project which involves all the following. Science, technology, engineering, art, and math. We will discuss each lesson, how the project is a STEAM project, and we will be asking questions throughout the lesson. And if you look on the Google Classroom assignment, you will see the questions for you to answer. I advise that you always have adult supervision while doing any of these to make sure everyone stays safe. All right. Let's get to work. Today we'll be working on a very simple project, bubble trays. What makes the bubble tray steam? Well, in this activity, we will explore the science of how molecules and soap behave when they share a bubble wall. We will explore engineering as we observe and create various bubble structures, noticing how different areas of the structure can support and strengthen their bubble creations. First, let's discuss what a molecule is. A molecule is a tiny thing that makes up everything you see. And these are made up of two atoms or more. Think water. Water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. And these are so small that it takes this many to get one drop of water. That's 602 sextillion molecules and one drop of water. All right, so what we need for our project today is a straw. We need a cookie tray or, or a tray or cookie sheet, whatever it is, and we need some bubble solution. Now, I don't have any bubble solution, so I'm gonna run and make some, and if you need to run and make some too, follow me. What I have here is one bowl, one and a half cups of water, and half a cup of dish soap, and two teaspoons of sugar. So let's mix this all together and head back to our experiment. So let's get this project going. Fill the trays with the solution. Place a straw into your bubble solution and only blow one bubble. How does the bubble look? That's good, a close up. Does it look a little like the water molecule we looked at earlier? Okay. So let's keep going. Now take your straw and blow some more bubbles near the first bubble. Notice their appearance, talk with your parents, siblings, or talk to yourself on what you see and then try and write what it is you see on the Google assignment. Okay, we are going to try something a little crazier. Let's try to blow a bubble inside another bubble. Yes, that's right. Give it a shot, what worked and what didn't work. We will now create a bubble tower. How high can you get it? Try blowing in different parts and observe what is the best place to put the straw to make the tower grow. All right, so that's it on my end. What I want you to do in order to move forward with this and get a little bit of artsy, make some patterns and artwork with the bubble and upload it to Google Classroom so I can see your art. Make sure that you turn in your assignment on Google Classroom. So that's all there is for me. I will see you next week on another STEAM activity.